I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back for my people. I pray out for for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought I was global, they screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. Way. More than I thank you, bro. Trust and believe. You know what? All right. Now, now for the important questions here. Now, um, with me as a blogger and everything, like it's a lot that I deal with behind the scenes that people won't understand and everything. And we and it's been times you and I talked about when it comes down to me and everything. Like we we had our own hearts, hearts and everything. But it's like for me, like I feel like. Because, like, I don't get put on front line here. Like, I, it's you guys get on front line. And on top of that, I be putting, I be posting a lot of you. And it's like, people get to see, they get to see you because, like, not because of me, but like, because, like, I'm one of the people that want to post you a lot and put you out there and everything. But it's like, as much as I post you, it's like, I gotta be, we gotta be having our own. I feel like bloggers are basically checking in on the rappers or the people they post. So, this is a health check statement, bro. How you feeling mentally? I thank you for the love and support. Hmm. For sure. I thank you. You're welcome. That's a hundred. Yeah. Why would I not appreciate you again? Yeah. Well, when it comes down to rappers and everything, they like they might say they appreciate me for X, Y, Z, but it's like the moment I post one thing that they about them and they might not like it, wherever the case may be. They get it, it, it goes bad for me and them because it's like, then they you, end a, up. you a blogger though. So, nobody be getting upset with bloggers. That's what bloggers gonna do. That's how they bring the money in. If they was a blogger and they was bringing in money, would they listen to motherfuckers who would tell them, like, man, look, you shouldn't be posting this or you shouldn't be posting that? Right. But, like, like different to me is like, yeah, I might get what I get from time to time and everything, but I try to like because like I'm from I'm actually the one that I'm actually one of the blogs that's from the sea. I try to be as genuine as I can because like I know it's how blog that people might complain how blogs might do this for them or about or post this about them, but they don't be doing trying to highlight positive, they don't be trying to check in, they don't be giving, giving a fuck. They just want to paint a picture and, and like destroy images and shit like that. I try to help build the image and everything and actually try to check in. That's why I be talking to people time to time outside of shit, like. Not everything got to be for content. Not everything got to be for the internet. So I was like, I be trying to like check in, like to show how genuine as a person, like because I'm from someone who's from the city and everything. And I can understand how people go through because I fake grew up the same way. But like, even with that, it's like, I be feeling like as a blogger, like people don't be taking notice of what I try to do versus what I already, versus what they see a lot of me doing. At the end of the day, if they don't like it, you should always love it. You straight. That's all you gotta say. You straight. Just post whatever you gotta post. Get your money. All right. You know, don't stop because other motherfuckers feeling some type of weight game. Mm. All right, bro. Thanks, bro. And overall, you good mentally? Like you ain't you ain't feeling down about anything? Mentally, as I'm feeling yeah. down. Yeah, are you like you ain't you ain't feeling down? Like you all good? Yeah, I feel down every day. That's just me. Mm. I lost ten years of, and five months of my life. I always feel down. You know, but I'm straight though. I'm thugging it through it all. Well, you know. You know, not too long ago, I did an interview with J.J. Moody, and I was asking him how he was feeling about mentally. He was, he said some, somewhat the same, same thing you said. Like it's a lot that he go through and everything. And I, and I'm asking you the same thing I asked him. Like, is there anything that we can do as a community to help you feel better and everything? Because it's like, first off, you, you did a lot. You lost a lot. You did time, like a lot of time that you can't get back, and that's something that we can't change. But it's like. Like one time you put out your number for the, for 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 Instagram and everything, and people was calling you. I'm pretty sure you got some got some good phone calls from people. I'm pretty sure you see how much how 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 much your fans care about you and everything. So it's like, I'm pretty sure you understand that some of us like yeah we fans and all, but some of us actually want to help me because we genuinely care and everything. Like how I be trying to express here to you. So it's like, is there anything that we can do as a community to help you out? Yeah, just just hold me. 
Just hold me down, gang. Just love me, you with me? Just care for me. Because if I die, you know, I ain't no point of saying like, yeah, when he was here, I was fucking with him. I was listening to his music. Uh, you gotta fuck me while I'm here. Yeah. And and not no time soon. That's gonna happen. I don't. I don't. I don't even want. I don't even want you speaking. Speaking like, for, for in that sense, like yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The time gonna come when the time come, but we are not gonna speak that no time soon because you like you're in your prime right now, and you finna go. And it's only up from here. The sky's the limit, literally. So, like, I feel like you're gonna go. You're gonna get up there, bro. In all seriousness, I appreciate you. No, for sure. All right. Dog. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yes, yeah, for real though. Like in all sense though, I got huge respect for you as a person and as a man. Mm. My dog. But all right, though. Now for t- for two more questions, and we gonna wrap this up here. Now, you know how you know like how there's other rappers and everything. Like I'm pretty like you you said you you might be the most head for no no no. You said y'all is the most head for no reason and everything, but. It's some people that don't hate y'all, and it's like I'm pretty sure they support y'all just as much as I do. But because they don't know how you how you might feel about them, they might not want to just approach you just too soon and everything. And just just in case, like you might not actually fuck with them though, even though they might fuck with you. So basically, I'm just gonna name drop a couple rappers here, and if you don't mind, could you just say one thing positive about them, if you may? I got you. All right, for sure. Now, first one, look, Chris. Never heard of him. Oh, he did multiple songs with Duck and everything. One of his biggest songs with him is, is Young and Living. But, uh, I gotta go check it out. I ain't never heard of him, though. Yeah. I promise you he's a good rapper. Uh, the, uh, next one. G Herbo. Yeah, he go crazy. Mm, for sure, for he sure. Putting that shit together. Yeah. All right, next one. Chance to rap. Chicago legend, in my eyes. Hmm. In mine too. Next one, Queen Key. I'm not really familiar with her. I ran across her name on YouTube and shit. Oh, all right, cool, 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 cool. It's all good. Um, what about Dreezy? I'm familiar with her, but I ain't heard too much of her music, though. All right, bet. Well, shit. What about Melo? Her music, be, her music be be playing for a lot from the city. It's crazy. I be hearing motherfuckers talk about her, but on game, I ain't heard not one song from her. What? You ain't hear Mouska too? Seriously? Oh no, where I be at? Damn! I don't know how you ain't never heard that song. That shit. Well, well, there's numerous other Mellow Bus songs that you could probably get in tune with, so yeah, we ain't gotta worry too much about that one then. No, I'll be hearing her name though. Oh, oh bro, I'll be hearing her name, bro, but I ain't hear not one song, bro. I'll be all YB all day. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, all damn. day. I'll damn. be all YB, bro. I get up on my YB. Mm-hmm. Bro, or I'll be off the guys. I listen to the guys. Well, shit, then. Let's talk about the guys, then. What about 757BA? Them ain't my homies. For real? Nah, them ain't my homies, gang. Okay, well, what about Nez? I be seeing you with Nez. That's my dog. There we go. <laughs> God. All right, thank that. All right, we finally that's, got somebody that, here. That's my dog. Yo, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Nez is a Chicago legend. A lot of people don't give him credit for it, but I'm going to give him credit. Nez is a Chicago legend. He started a lot of shit, and he and he paved the way for a lot for a lot of shit. You would agree, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, for sure, for sure, for sure. Well, shit, that's uh, my dog. Shit, I know you don't know. You. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. That's your dog. Yeah, all Rose. Right. Mm. Oh yeah, for sure, Rose too. You know, I don't mm. know if you, I, I know you don't know Juice World personally, but he did song with YB. So I don't know if you heard that. Juice World, my dog. Oh yeah, for sure. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. RP Juice Real, I fuck with Juice Real. That's my dog. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He got me through when I was locked up too. I play shit. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh man, yeah. Sure. I feel I feel him and YB the most, bro. I ain't gonna lie, they they know how to express themselves. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. That's a nice way to put it. Shit, all right, though. Um, you you know what? We gonna leave. We, you know what? Any anyone you personally want to give a shout out to, or or say anything positive about? Shit. Hell no. Oh, Hell wow. no. Just keep going. Don't give up. That's to everybody. I bet, 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 bet. Yeah, I, I bet. As a matter of fact, a message for everybody. All right, that's good. All right, bet. Now for the final question, we're going to wrap this up. And this one's the most important question of all because it's about me, and I call it TCW feedback, Chicago Way feedback. Now, you definitely did not have to do this interview, but you did it out, and out of, like, on some real nigga shit, and I really do appreciate you for that. Like, like it's rare that, like, it's rare that, like, people in your position get to talk to people like me because, like, I be, like, I be fucking with, with a lot of rappers that I post a lot and they hire me and everything, but, like, I don't never get the chance to, like, have hearts to hearts with them or even have sit-downs with them like how we did here. So I appreciate you for that. Like, like no kids, I really do. So you definitely do support the Chicago Wave and everything, but the real question is, why do you support the Chicago Wave? I like what you're doing. I like exactly what you're doing and keep doing it, you know? Don't become discouraged when it comes to this shit. I know it could be a headache, but what you got to do is don't respond. Hmm. You got like, like that one if, song you dropped. If you look in your DM and I ain't talking about no money, don't respond, gang. Hmm. Just continue doing you. All right, man. Thank you. My dog. Anything specific you like about the wave? I like your content. I look at it the other day. Oh, where? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Appreciate yeah, it. yeah, I do. All right, man. All right. I like it. And knowing you, you always been a truthful guy here. So if you don't mind, feel free to be honest. What's one thing about the Chicago wave you don't like if there's any? No, it ain't nothing. You ain't ask me no weird ass question. You want on this motherfucker being weird. You hear me? You just being yourself. Hmm. I'm glad you was able to notice that. Uh, I notice everything, even if it's face to face or over the phone. Hmm. Type shit, righteous. Yeah. All right, bet. All right. Before we close that, before we close out, any final remarks, any final comments, or anything you want to get out of your chest, just to let the people know. Mm, shot right big is all. 051 kiddo, you know what the fuck going on. Yeah. All right, for sure. With that being said, kiddo, I appreciate you for your time. Thank you for reaching out to me. Thank you for uh, getting this all done. And I'm glad we was able to get this done virtually or in person. And I just, I just appreciate you overall. And with that being said, before we close out, I just want to let you know that you will always and forever be a part of the Chicago wave. You know it. And I'll see you when I see you, if I see you. You know it, my guy. All right, take care, brother. You too.